Hey guys. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back. I feel like we're very crooked right now, but who wants to be straight in any case? I have a special treat for you guys. It's actually more of a, is it any good? So it's more of a taste test, a review of some pretty popular, how do you say, charming product? We have here the Nissan Nizen. The Nissan. We have some chow mein. I don't know if you're gonna freeze dried. <clears throat> it's not frozen. What is it? What is this if it's not frozen? This is dry. You just add water and microwave time. It is the Nissan chow mein teriyaki beef, <laughs> beef flavor. With other natural flavors. I don't like the sound of that. Um, savory sauce packet inside. Restaurant style noodle. Okay, guys. Are we ready to try this? Let me do a little movie magic. Ah! 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 <laughs> and then we're going to come back. And it's going to be done. <laughs> yeah, right. Wouldn't ask you to do it either. You're just about as incompetent as I. <laughs> well, we're back. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, magic! Here we have uh, uncompleted chow mein. Beef teriyaki chow mein. Now, these instructions, let's be clear about one thing. These instructions have always said like five minutes. And things like this, they always overflow in my microwave. So it's like a lot of the water you add when it goes out, which may throw off things. And then like a lot of the, the, the debris, they call vegetables, the debris mix, the veggie mixes. That kind of stuff will just end up all over the microwave. And it's too hot. It gets too hot in my microwave. So I put it in for four minutes and then it was like still water in there when I stirred it. It was already boiling. After three minutes, it was boiling. About to bubble out of the container into the microwave. So after four minutes, I said, that'll do it. That'll be enough, should be enough. Uh, but there was still a lot of moisture in there and some of the noodles looked not cooked. So I put it back in for a minute and it looks all right, I guess. Um, we now are going to add the sauce packet. You add this post, post cooking. I don't know, I'm trying to think of a darker word, but I can't. <laughs> Post radioactive molecular conversion. Ah. Oh, just rearranging your molecules. That's all. No fans. Now, one thing I'm going to pick at I've already removed a lot of the debris, the white stuff, this paper that stays behind. You have to just go through and pick it off before you cook it. That way, it's cuter. It looks just so sloppy, leaving that behind. And we have the, the Nissan sauce packet. You need teeth that, that, that come into contact. You need teeth that touch to open these, or a pair of shears. Ooh. We're gonna add her to the cooked noodle. Oh, I saw some oil come out. I wonder if it was avocado oil. I wonder if it was cold breast. I wonder. Uh. Mm, wonderful. My chopsticks aren't too noisy. I hope they're not too noisy for you. Slippery blue buggers. Uh, can you see that? You see what we're doing here? I don't know if you guys can see. We're just doing a little mix. We're mixing in the hot. Somebody's burning my finger. Mixing in the sauce packet. Uh, you guys even see that? Should I put the camera lower? Like, is it moving? Is it possessed? Uh, how's that? Uh, Hot! 
guys, it's burning. It smells like very flavorful. It smells very flavorful, guys. It smells familiar. Where did I have something so delicious? Back home, perhaps? Back home as a boy. Ah. What do you think? It's mixed enough. Oh. It's just so. Oh. My fingers get oily, and it's just so hard to control these slippery chopsticks. You know, I prefer the wooden. I prefer the bamboo. But these are vibe, huh? I feel like I'm a space ship. I feel like I'm lost in space. In case you're wondering what I'm doing out of frame, I'm wiping my hands on my pants. I don't like this border here. If we could safely and gingerly uh, remove that membrane, I'd be a lot happier. Uh. How much like cabbage and stuff gets stuck? I just want you guys to get a good look. Are you focused? You guys see the texture before we start shoving it in our mouth. And I don't want to get burned. Do you? Okay, I don't, I don't know why I don't have a moist towelette. Are we within frame? Are we within the frame? Okay, what's this? Seaweed? That should be cool by now. See what's gonna be going into me? Be like inside of me. It's gonna become part of me. So nourish me. And it's gonna nourish you. Without further ado, right? The moment you've all been waiting for. So I burn my tongue or not? <laughs> this, oh, my hands are already getting. My hands are getting sore. It's laborious. It's laborious! It smells on point. Okay, I'm just gonna say that. Oh. It definitely smells some ginger in there. Oh. Mm. I just, mm. Not bad. We have the chami teriyaki beef. I thought there would be like little pieces of beef in here. No key. But there's not, but it's okay. I think the oil can is a little beefy. It's a tallow. Like it's when you try to taste it, it's almost like, this is too sweet. But then as you chew the noodles and then the sauce mixes within the noodle, it mellows out a little. By the time you've swallowed it, it leaves you wanting more. You want more, you want to relive the trauma. You want more of that initial shock, like, mm, this might be a little too sweet. This might be, I might be eating something naughty. You want to relive it. So let's go back, relive the trauma. And just like a good drug 
you need more and more each time. You see, you become acclimated. Oh. Fire. Fire for a dollar. If it was $5, I don't know. I guess it'd be alright. But it's a dollar. It's great. You know, you could even put this in a prep, in a prep plan. For those of you that prep plan your portions. <laughs> She's cute, huh? Like an alien creature, no? <sighs> yeah. At first it's a little sweet, but that sweetness turns out to be nice. It's almost like so much of a flavor profile, such complex flavors. You don't need anything else. You don't need meats. I'm thinking, what would this go good with? With a, an accoutrement? An accompaniment? What would accompany this? Like some meatball, some chicken, some shrimp? I don't know. It's just kind of nice. It's just kind of nice. I'll buy it's lonesome. Texture's nice, a little chewy. <laughs> Sorry. Me like, me like. It's tasteful. It's tasteful. And the good news is, I got like three flavors. I got this teriyaki beef. One is teriyaki chicken, and I think the other is a spicy chicken. I don't know if it's spicy teriyaki or just spicy chicken. But it's chow mein. So it's not ramen. I don't know. In my humble opinion, I don't know. It's called chow mein. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, she's good. Mmm. Restaurant style noodle. Chow mein noodle. This is elevated, guys. I'm definitely going to get some more of these. And for my closet eating. Oh. You guys didn't see that little last little piece in there? It's just not much. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Guys, there's not much left. One bite. <laughs> oh. Ah! Oh, God. I finished all my food. Where's my prize? Um, is the Nissan Chamein Teriyaki Beef coming in at, I paid 98 cents for this. Is it any good? It's very good. It's nice. It's not too much, but it's not too little. And you don't really need anything with it. It's a little sweet, but at least it's not too salty. But it, it, it's nice. I highly recommend them. And I'm, I'm looking forward to trying the other flavors. All right, guys. I hope you had a little insight into whether or not this is any good. But most of all, I hope you had a wonderful time. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye.